Hello, party people. Welcome to The Game Store, an indie horror game in which you live out the ultimate horror experience, going to GameStop. One eight. My alarm clock literally has the exact tone. I turned around when I heard that. Oh god. Oh wow. There's money on the table. Go to the game store and choose game, but do not choose first dreamer. Well, I think I know which one we're going to choose. Cashia red. I can't really read that. Cash TPs. Games to beat. First streamer, Seal Wolf, Radical Skater, Pot Pie, and Dave Da Vinci's Flying Machine. I need a game. Had to uh, turn the look sensitivity all the way down. All right, it's the middle of the night. Had an alarm to wake us up at three in the morning to go grab a game. Just a normal daily routine. Now there are achievements in this game, so we'll be going for those as well. Board Raccoon Fireworks Stand open soon. Oh, it, sh it sure is a star rock, isn't it? Can jump. I can crouch. Make a quick detour over this away. As always, have to explore everything. Huh? Ah. Oh? Echo of the future, D. Find the other echoes, the door. Mmm, secrets. I see, I see. Now, I was thinking that this was going to be like an alternate entrance into the game store, and I was going to like bypass story by accident, like I seem to always do. But now I know that there are things to be found, so we'll keep an eye out for them. Which means doing everything except story. CB Games. Free flying disc at CB Games. Boy, what a throwback that is. I haven't seen an EB Games for... Oh my goodness. I think they still have them in Canada. I think that was the last time I went to an EB Games. I could be wrong, though. That might have been... Um... Oh, what's it called? Future World? Shoot, I don't remember the name, but... Future Shop. But I haven't seen an EB Games in my area. It's all GameStop now, and even those are going out of style. Those are the good old days, weren't they? I say as I'm 25 years old. <laughs> uh. All right, let's head inside. No doors? Understandable. Hmm. Only for the Radical 16. Featuring Triangle Enemy. Mega Jupiter. Excellent. Adventure of Seavest. Coming this Christmas. Alright, well, um... No. 
Did I pick it up? Oops. Well, I accidentally just exited the game by accident. I, I don't know what I was expecting to happen when I clicked menu, but, um, you know. Oh, it brought us right back. Oh. Now, wait a second. Oh, I see. I was hoping that I could cheese it by uh, <laughs> just reloading and getting all the games, but um, I understand now. They they just respawn, so it seems that I was able to pick up for a streamer and another game. Sorry, I'm just walking to see if there's any more of those. I already forgot what they were, the echoes. Um... But I think that you can pick up two the first time. Good lord, how far can I go? All right, well, I'll see you when... <laughs> when we find something, I guess. Wait, did it just loop? Oh, physics? Mmm, physics. Got some, like, non-Euclidean geometry going on with this map. Because if it spits me out by the game store up here, we're going to know that it just looped somehow. Yeah, because there's the Star Rock. <laughs> Interesting. I wanted to go back there. I want to see if there's any secrets. New entertainment system coming soon. Has, what does that say? 10 bits of power, radical 16. Okay. Let's take another quick poke around out here and see if there's anything. Did we not close our door? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter considering we're apparently the only people that live here. So it's fine. Yeah, I can't close my door, it's fine. All right. We'll leave that there. Um, I have a habit of bugging out games. It's like my affinity. So we're just going to leave that there for now. Okay, stop. Stop. Alrighty. Oh, oh, I died. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's, uh, it's very floaty. I'm not really a big fan of floaty controls, but, um, we'll make it work. Oh, we're good. Nice. You did it. Now go back to the store. There's more money on the table. No, I wanted to keep playing. You distracted me and ruined my high score. got an achievement for that. Sink the enemy. All right. Well, um. Whoop. All right. 
So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to reload and try and get just the first streamer game uh, because it seemed very intent on me not playing that. So I will report back if anything is different. Alrighty. Hmm. No, I don't think I will, actually. I think I'm just going to continue exactly what I've been doing. First streamer. Oh. All right, well, I don't have much option. You were told to finish the other games first. Welcome to Fenrock Kingdom. You ha you aren't supposed to play this yet. Oops. Rules are meant to be broken. Stop playing. No. Don't tell me what to do. I thought you were right one for this. You were a dreamer. They were wrong about you. Ah! You weren't the one I was looking for. I must find another. You are of no use now. It's an awful noise. Please stop. <laughs> oh. Come, Kusit, leave that. There has to be another one left out there somewhere. Achievement unlocked, not the dreamer. Alrighty, so I have gone back and gathered that echo thing and completed Steel Wolf. So let's go ahead and grab another game. Quite foggy, isn't it? Okay, let's go with... Why don't we do Radical Skater? Finish the obstacle course. Sounds easy enough. Alrighty. Whoa. <laughs> Wiped out. Thank you. 
Nuts. <sighs> oh! The hitboxes on this are not fun. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh! Achievement unlocked. Totally radical. Oof. Hello. No okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say that one was not fun. <laughs> In fact, it was quite frustrating. But, uh, that's alright. Let's go to the next one. I'm glad I got that out of the way. So we have the... I keep wanting to say Davy's Flying Machine. Da Vinci's Flying Machine and Pot Pie. Walkie dog. Oh, I just uh I just noticed that there is a uh, something not good happening over here. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, uh oh, okay. Um I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab my game real quick. Let's do... For this game, simply finish the stage. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be easier said than done. Uh, all right, let's explore this horrible thing over here. Hello? Hmm. Ladder, perhaps? <clears throat> My voice is a bit scratchy and breaky today, uh, and I'm blaming that on allergies. Been quite unbearable lately. Hmm, a ladder button. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Your story doesn't end here. Go back. Okay. <laughs> Not really sure what I was expecting from that, but okay. All right, let's go back down the ladder this time. There we go. Alrighty. Now, I wonder... Hmm. I wonder how many of those shard things there were. Or are, rather. Now, I also don't know if that's tied to, like, an alternate ending. Um, I reckon it is, or at least an achievement, I'm sure. Uh, considering they're quite out of the way. Uh, like, I'm sure not... Unless it has you, like, directly tells you, hey, you need to find these. If it doesn't, 
then I reckon it might be an alternate ending. And if that's the case, we will be getting it and uh, whatever other endings there are. Pot pie. Oh my god, we play Mario? The controls are so floaty, oh my god. Oh god. Whew. I'm stressed. <laughs> you have been deaded, continue. Absolutely. Oh no. Oh. Alrighty, we just need to take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race. I feel as though I do get cocky. Like once I've already gotten past one part, I think I can just speed through it and then I like immediately die. Ooh. Probably gonna edit that noise out. No. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know what I love in my horror games? Platforming. Can never have enough platforming in my horror games. <sighs> love it. <laughs> Not today, my friend. Oh, achievement unlocked, pot pie. Ah. You save. You save Princess Bella. Nice jobs. <sighs> okay. My hands are like literally cramping from that. <laughs> Golly. Alright, I think that just leaves one more. Oh. Find the echoes, there's another path. Oh, I think that's gonna kill me if I do that. It would seem as though my assumption was correct. Star Rock Pond. You know what I love? Water levels. Oh good, I don't have to actually go in it. The door opened. Hurry. Did it? Did it now? I want to play my game though. We're going to play our game instead. The da Vinci's flying machine. Get a score of at least... Okay, so that's the door we have... Or that it wants us to go into. Um, we will come back to it. Um, I want to play my game move first. I have a feeling that this is going to be a sort of like Flabby Bird clone. I just, I just have a feeling. Alright, let's play some Da Vinci's Flying Machine. 
Hmm. You want to know what sucks? I'm terrible at Floppy Bird. Excellent, you did well. Now is the time. Choose first streamer. No, I'm playing with my game. -oo. Leave me alone. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, you. Yeah. The momentum on this is a little odd. Like if you press, like if you press multiple times too close to each other, yeah, you do that. You like shoot upwards like that, um, which is really frustrating because when you're trying to get just a little bit more leverage to get through, you end up shooting upwards and killing yourselves. No. This isn't fun anymore. And I understand that I'm past the point that I have to play. Like, I'm just achievement hunting at this point. But it's still miserable. And I'm sure there's lots of people like me out there that really, really enjoy achievement hunting. I feel obligated to get all the secrets and stuff. So I don't feel like I can stop playing. But it is absolutely miserable. Ugh. Just gotta be careful with those top ones. Those are the ones that always get me. No! Achievement unlocked, flying high. That was like one of the longest 20 minutes I've ever spent in my entire life. Moving on. Oh. That seems normal. I guess I know which game we're picking up. Oh, the door is gone. Well, it's, oh, I don't think I can go any closer. Okay, so that, by not entering the door when we were told to, we locked ourselves out of that potential ending. I see. Alright, time to bunny hop our way back, I suppose. Because, you know, bunny hopping 
always faster. All right, let's play some first streamer. Fenrock Kingdom. Welcome to Fenrock Kingdom. We are scared of the mountain dragon. General store? This is my store, but no one is shopping because they're afraid of the dragon. My cat, my cat, can you find my cat for me? Yes, yes. No questions asked. Benrock Castle. To mountain death. <laughs> you no pass here without king say so. Okay. Move along, citizen. I am busy. Alright, whatever that is, I want it. You picked up the cat. Can the cat cut down the tree? All right. Thank you for finding my cat. The guard needs someone to help them. He's north of me. Wait. Oh, I was hoping I could pet it. You there, I cannot leave my post. Can you help the shopkeeper with a thief? Sure. Help, there is a thief. <laughs> they just <laughs> obtained thief times one. You look too strong. Tell the guard I will stop trying to steal. I'm leaving. Oop. Thank you for stopping the thief. The dreamer needs to be freed from their chains. Thank you for helping stop the thief. I have told the king about you. I want, I want the thing. I was told you helped the village. Go to the mountain and defeat the mountain dragon. The portal awaits. They are coming. I want the thing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You succeeded all expectations. Now for the next phase. Be prepared for what happens next. Huh? Huh? Ah! My eyes. Uh-oh. The chains. You know what they were. You probably don't, or you don't remember. Cartridge haunted. What? Cartridge haunted. What if I just leave? What if I just do that? What if I just say, never mind, I'm gonna go. Never mind. Fine. Oh, I can't even take it. Okay. They busted my NES? I mean, I mean my Radical 8? Hmm. To dream. Boy, sure is dark back here. Do you see the staircase leading to the symbol? Go to it. Shiny? <laughs> Just kidding.
Ooh, goodness. I was right to choose you. Now, this is the first step. You are ready. But realize this is only a prelude, as you are the... Second Dreamer. Achievement unlocked, Second Dreamer. Now, there is the alternate ending, or what I presume is an alternate ending, uh, which has to do with those echoes. And there is also a hidden achievement, uh, and we'll be doing our best to find that as well. Ooh, that is very bright. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, looking at the Steam achievements, it says that... The hidden achievement is stop the noise and it has a picture of an alarm clock. So what I did is I left the alarm clock on uh, and maybe we'll get something to break it with. I don't know, but I left it on. I didn't turn it off at the start of the game, so it's still going. But we have collected all three of the echoes and we are going to enter the door. No, you aren't supposed to be here. Go back. Now. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, every GameStop has tunneling caverns underneath of their store. I thought that was just, like, protocol. Uh-huh. We stop them. Quick, touch the game box. Hurry, it won't work forever. Okay. Cambridge Catmittens. In Evil Shape Land, explore six, six different worlds and defeat the Evil Shape King. We will bring you to another. You need to find out the truth yourself. Quick, put them to sleep. They will wake up soon enough, though. Do you think it will work? Where does this lead? Is that the treehouse? I remember this. Wait, we have to go back. Oh. Achievement unlocked. Echoes of the future. Oh, whoa, what, what's happening here? Uh, I think I might have bugged the game at the very, very end of it. Typical. Achievement unlocked. Stop the noise. <clears throat> so in order to get that secret achievement, you have to complete the whole game without turning the alarm clock off. However, um, to my understanding, this only works with that ending that I just showed you. Because I tried it with the Echo's door ending as well as playing First Streamer first. That ending, uh, it did not unlock. So, um... Be sure that if you're hunting this achievement to make sure that you do it with the- I don't know if this would be considered the canon ending, but like the main ending. I consider it to be the main ending because it has you play all of the games and then first streamer. So be sure that you 
unlock that achievement doing this ending. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it. At least I couldn't, but we all know about my innate ability to break games just by looking at them. So that was the game store. I don't have too much to say about this game aside from the fact that it was a fun little game, short but sweet. It's advertised as being in the horror genre, but I'm not really sure I would classify it as that. It has a few small jump scares here and there, but nothing major, with only one appearance from some inhuman static entity. I'm not really sure what I would call it, maybe atmospheric? I think it has a lot of potential to be horror, but unfortunately it just didn't quite meet the mark in that department overall. That's just my opinion though, I know that everybody has a different definition of what makes horror horror, and this could very well fit somebody's personal definition. Some people could complain about the graphics and whatnot, but personally, I really enjoy these sorts of games and the simplicity that they often have. As for the minigames, I thought that they were fun, albeit a little frustrating at times, but I didn't really mind that. I'd consider myself to be a pretty patient person, so it wasn't really an issue for me, with the exception of the Flappy Bird clone and the skater game. With that being said, I really only found them to be frustrating at times during my first playthrough, where I was also aiming for high scores in order to unlock achievements. After replaying the entire game multiple times to achieve the different endings while not focusing on the higher scores, I didn't really find them frustrating at all and I actually beat the two that had been giving me trouble on my first try by my last playthrough. I think I would have liked to see a bit more content, maybe more appearances from the static monster, maybe some more minigames. In regard to the plot, I did see that about one month ago, the dev posted on the Steam community page that a semi-sequel to this game called Second Dreamer would be releasing soon, so hopefully we'll get to see the story be fleshed out a little more in the near future. So my final verdict, I enjoyed it. That's all. If you enjoyed this game and would like to check it out for yourself, please feel free to check out the link to the Steam store page in the description below. Thank you for playing the game store with me, and I hope you have a lovely day-night cycle.